Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to dive into the message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Gemini. As always, keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check with the other placements, any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. If you'd like a personal one-to-one -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, be the change. 333.com. All my info is in the description box below this video. Okay, Gemini. Hmm. I did not realize the depth of the energy that we are experiencing as we, as I'm doing this reading. And as we are moving closer and closer to the new moon in, a, in Aquarius, Mercury has moved into Aquarius now, and it's still in a conjunction with Pluto. Uranus is direct. I've done a few videos on some of these energies, but wow, potent, emotional, deep, transformational. You might be feeling a lot. So let's get into the message for Gemini, what can we tell Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Okay. <clears throat> so Gemini, always a fun topic. We're going to dive into unhealthy habits. You could actually be recognizing some of these unhealthy habits. It could be thought patterns, you know, thinking the worst case scenario, um, some kind of escapism even. Let's see. Codependency pops up, always pops up when I see unhealthy habits, but that's more of a pattern. These are habits. Could be, you know, maybe you're a smoker and you're trying to quit or cutting back on certain substances that are not healthy for you. Unhealthy habits, you name it, we've all got them. Oh, I'm gonna put it back, but Six of Wands wanted to just pay a visit. Victorious, victory. All right, all right, there's some positivity here. I am enjoying this. The wheel, the king of swords. This is lovely, Gemini. You are moving in a healthier direction and overall energy look. They wanted to stay for you. Victory, achievement, success. You've really overcome something. Could be this unhealthy habit. The Wheel, King of Swords, and Page of Pentacles. Um, as the wheel turns, we begin to either do a lot of introspection, self-reflection. There's just a lot of learning. It's the karmic wheel. And we're moving into a great point in time of change. King of Swords is telling me that you are definitely seeing things from a much higher perspective, a bird's eye view. The birds also um, represent messengers. So you could be really tuning into your higher guidance, your guides, your higher self. Messages coming in from another dimension are all actually linked to your intuitive senses. So it's like a deep inner knowing or I see, I see from a much higher perspective. And Page of Pentacles is saying, yeah, and I wanna go in that direction of this higher perspective. I like that. I'm gonna take what I've learned, I'm gonna take what I've experienced and achieved, and I'm going to move forward with this newfound wisdom, higher perspective, newer insight. Okay, okay. I'm digging it. I like it. Something is really changing here. What else can we tell Gemini? <clears throat> I see the 
actually really feeling good about this too. About the wheel for Gemini, please. So we have the Two of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. <clears throat> and this is definitely a spiritual lesson for you. You may have been dipping your toe in different dimensions, different experiences. And I really see that you are carefully planning each step, but this is still juggling in between worlds, Gemini. So you're not really fully committed to this new perspective quite yet, or you hadn't been until suddenly you can't make it up. New energy comes in, new experiences come in, they hang you up, they show you things from a new angle, a new perspective, and you are enlightened. Let's keep going. Okay. King of Swords with the Ace of Cups. So what is enlightening for you? Um, this higher perspective, this wisdom, this remembrance. I'm hearing there's a deep remembrance coming in and it really is, uh, it's showing you, it's telling you, Gemini, if you don't fill your cup up first, don't expect anybody else to. Meaning you gotta give yourself that love. You got to go for what actually gives you a sense of pleasure and fulfillment. And you're sticking to that. Putting your focus, your time, your energy into filling up your own cup. Till it's running over with happiness, joy, love. Just a good feeling card. You gotta feel good. You gotta feel good about yourself, about life, what it is that you're participating and doing in life, what you are putting out there, what are you receiving? You're like, yeah. Could be definitely, I, I'm tired of um, walking on eggshells. Mm, some of you might be kind of prancing around life like, I don't know what's safe and what's not. I don't know what spirit wants me to do. You could just be even stuck in certain... There's a Gemini trait for you. <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde. Hot and cold. Good and bad. Black and white. I don't see the two of swords here, but the two of pentacles is telling me that, you know, hangman, you know better, king of swords, higher perspective, but there's still a part in you that is like really tied to an old way, which could be an unhealthy habit of yours. You, you might have a hard time making decisions, but moving forward, look, we've got six of wands twice overall, Gemini. Now you can't make it up. You're finding the courage, the drive, the stamina, the passion to really overcome your fears and, and work through some of this stuff. And it's beautiful. We have the magician with the page of pentacles. You are ready to create something new for yourself. Whatever this is for you, if it is, uh, you know, a life experience, a, a career, a job, a relationship, whatever. It's got to, it's got to give you a sense of fulfillment and you know it and you are definitely six of wands, six of wands, really by leaps and bounds, courageously overcoming your fears. 
This is beautiful. So we're going to get you one last message from the secret language of the animals to um, wrap this up, give you some advice. And Gemini, if you are, if you would not mind, please, if you're liking this video, to click the thumbs up button below the video. I really, I know we have to do that in this YouTube land world in order to support one another and help keep videos in circulation through the robotic algorithm. So I appreciate all of you who do take the time to like the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and feel free to comment. I do love to read all of your comments. All right, Gemini. Let's get you some advice here. Doesn't look like you need much, but you are, not, you know what you're doing here. You're feeling good. You've overcome some really unhealthy habits of yours. I love it. Putting yourself first too. Well, we want one here. Um, but, but of course it's a Gemini dualistic cards. I just received the message again. I love it. So we have the orange bellied parrot, which speaks of radiance expression, communication, acceleration. You are accelerating into a new expression of yourself. But we have this shark here also, which is bringing up fears. It is about your perception. As I'm saying here at the King of Swords, your perception is changing, putting your focus on what it is that you have passion and love for and action. My goodness. All right, we're going to read both. We have a little bit of time. So let's let's start with the orange-bellied parrot. Typical. <laughs> I love it. All right. When parrot flies into your world, he brings a birth, burst of fresh energy and the gift of acceleration to your path. Just as Parrot flies through the trees at great speed, angling his body to maintain acceleration while narrowly missing branches, he calls you now to trust the energy rising within and be ready to leap forward with dynamic and radiant expression. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Some planning may be needed, but don't get hung up on the details. Movement creates energy and new possibility. The path will reveal itself as you take steps. And it's often easier to see what needs to be navigated once you are in motion. Like a rainbow in motion, your light will learn to bend. As part of opening the channels for your full expression, Orange Bellied Parrot calls you to communicate openly, honestly, and clearly with others. Be playful and expressive. Let humor open spaces for new levels of connection. Take time to elevate your mastery of the art of listening to others and to yourself. If you're not sure whether you understand what another has said, repeat their words back to them. Validate their expression and allow them to know that they have been heard. Ask for the same in return. When orange-bellied parrot leaves the shores of its summer homeland on winter migration, it trusts the spirit of adventure and it brings all of its beauty with it. As you step out into the world, bring yourself with your full color. This is not time to hold back. You are only one, but your gifts are bright as and many. Release the pace of the past. Take a breath. This is your time to fly. Wow. Okay, we're going to read Shark really quickly as another piece of your advice here. All right, this one's a little bit shorter. <clears throat> Shark is a threshold guardian. Her role is to test your commitment to the path you have chosen not with intention to thwart or swallow you in the process, but to give you the gift of experiencing yourself moving beyond that which may have held you back in the past. When shark swims into your waters, she does not invo invoke fear, but to give you the opportunity to face your fears or hidden concerns and allow them to dissolve into the clear waters before you. 
Shark connects us with the creative element of water with a level of discernment that allows us to be clear, decisive, and direct. Use your sensitivity to inform your actions. Harness the power of your emotions, but do not be consumed by them. Be willing to be dynamic and bold, to act on opportunities as they arise, but without clinging to the outcome you think you need. Shark's message is to stay in motion and focus on that which moves you forward while remaining open to other gifts that may emerge on the path. Shark brings you the power of heightened sensitivity. Take time to be alone, to find your quiet center, and tune into your physical senses. These are your gateways to the subtle messages in the world around you. Listen, smell, feel, and see what shark senses, and you will gain great insight into your experience. Know that she is with you, honoring your steps into the unknown and offering great protection for your journey onto it. Oh my, I have the chills. And I just look back at the two, uh, both the Six of Wands and the Six of Wands. Look at that, Gemini. Nothing to fear. You are overcoming so much um, and and moving in a, in a brilliant, beautiful direction and pace. So I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. Sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.